this is practice prepper, and today I'm making up some bread. I've got some whole wheat flour in there, some white flour, threw in some salt. I don't really measure anything, just kind of throw it in because I find that works fine. Uh, i got some uh, warm water that I heated up on the fire yesterday and kept in the thermos, kept it warm in there. And of course, some yeast for leavening, a baker's friend, although maybe not for long. Isn't that a great opening? Like, uh, we're talking about killer yeast, so I start by making bread. I wanted to make the bread anyway, uh, but I thought that'd be a great sort of conduit. Were you entertained? I was. Yeah, yeast, killer yeast. There's a new strain of yeast called Candida auris, auris, something like that. Uh, I've seen it in print, A-U-R-I-S, I've never heard it pronounced. Uh, and it is pretty dangerous if you catch it. It's 60% fatal if you catch it. You have a better chance of dying if you contract this uh, type of yeast infection than surviving it. Now, it hasn't uh, gotten into very many people. Uh, there's only been a few dozen cases at the moment, uh, some of them overseas, uh, but we're just starting to see some in the United States, uh, mostly in New Jersey, in New York. There's been some in Illinois, because Illinois is just lucky that way. Um, that and SB 1291. We might want to check that out. Firearm seizure. Just throwing it out there. I don't know. It might be a good idea, the bill. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of safety checks in it in terms of people arguing against their having their weapons taken unjustly. I don't know. We're not talking about firearm seizures, though, today. We're talking about killer yeast. Um, so it's something to keep your eye on. Uh, at the moment, it's not a big thing. Uh, it's just starting to emerge. It's emergent. Uh, so, it, you know, keep your ears open for killer fungal infections if they might be in an area near you. The danger with them, uh, uh, you know, aside from the dying part, is that the, uh, uh, the spores from it uh, can last. I don't know if spores is the right word, but the, you know, whatever. Uh, okay. Spores. I'm just going to say spores, and then you can comment if I'm wrong about that. Uh, they can last on surfaces for quite a long time. They can last on like open surfaces for weeks. They can last on people's skin for months. So you can see the potential there for poof, an explosion, potentially. Now, a lot of people that have died from it were in hospitals. That's where it's traveling around, and they were already sick, and they were in a weakened state already. So, again, it's something to keep your eye open about and just watch and see how it develops. But I want to share it with you. Killer yeast, possibly coming to a neighborhood near you. Um, think about it. If it did start popping up, what would you do in your area? Would you change any of the way that you live your daily life? Uh, would you get uh, more serious about certain types of things? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.